Hi everybody, it's Tina here from Scrapping from the Heart. I just wanted to show you my new scrap room. I have moved it upstairs. <clears throat> I hated being in the basement, so finally got my wish and I'm upstairs on the first floor now in the front room with a great big huge window that gives me so much natural light and I just love being on the main floor as everybody else. So I'm really happy about the move up here. Anyway, you're looking at my new pegboard. Um, I cut out the letters on my um, Cricut. I just used contact paper because I was making a stencil and I knew I was going to throw it away anyway. So I just used plain um, contact paper and it was white already, the pegboard. So I put the letters on and then just used the, the brown color that I have in my room just so it all blends in together. And I added the little hearts with, with paint. But that's my pegboard. And that's my puppy who just came in here and left. <laughs> you could hear her feet on the floor. Um, that's just a board that I got to write like the projects I want to get done and just hang little things that my friend sent me. Froggy sent me that. Thanks, Froggy. I have it there so I can look at it and it reminds me of you. Anyway, so I just write the things I need to get done or just, you know, pen up things that, that I like to look at or need or whatever the case may be. The bottom has a little shelf. Jimmy put that shelf up for me. It has all my inks and all my brads, all that good stuff that, oh, am I going too close? I'm sorry. All that good stuff that, uh, that I'll need. Um, there's just one little ruler on there on the pegboard. There's another shelf on top. I just finished that D with the roses on it. I love the way it came out. And of course there's an angel because I love angels and cherubs and all that good stuff. Those are just some containers with markers that I could use in my machines and Cricut or the Silhouette. And just some other stuff that I have. I love pinwheels, so that's my pinwheel up there. I'm going to take you to the back wall where all my punches are. There's another shelf up there, which I do plan on putting more of my um, finished scrapbooks or scrapbook pages or anything of that nature. I like to display my work and other stuff that I make or have accumulated through time. Those are obviously all my punches. Um, those um, bars came from downstairs. Also, they're from Ikea. So are the shelves. These shelves, they came from Ikea. You kind of could put like a frame on them and they really come in handy because there's like a stopper on it and it's perfect and it fits all my tiny little um, glitters. As you can see, there's all my glitters, re-anchors, mud puddles, which I love. Um, sprays, Tattered Angel sprays. My stickles that I put in the little cup couplers. They're PVC couplers. And there's all my punches there. There's those. Okay, here's my, this is one, that's my printer I was going to say. This is one of the pieces I brought up from downstairs. The other piece is my desk. Everything else I had purchased, which is, I bought three, four cabinets. And you'll see them now. That's one of them. So my printer, my Cricut Explorer, and my Silhouette are there. Underneath, there's drawers and these bins that, it, the, the baskets I got at Ikea and the bins I got at Ikea, I, I think everything is basically from Ikea. These are really great because everything just gets put away. These are the really big ones and they're smaller ones. I'll show you. They're in my other cabinet. And there's eight in here, which is nice because as you could see, I'm sorry. There you go. See it? They're all labeled. Everything's put away and nice and neat and organized. One basket has solids and chipboard. This is a project they need to complete as soon as possible. Here's another um, basket that has my printed, there's, there's some solid there too, but there's printed um, scraps of paper. The bottom has flowers, some of my flowers in there. Okay, that's one. This has ba uh, bags, plastic bags, there you go, that I use for storage. And then there's another basket with flowers and ribbon in there. There you go. I try to use as much space as I can because I'm down to a lot... Sorry. Sorry for the noise. I'm down to a lot less space than what I had. So I try to use as much space as I can. And the overhang helps. There's overhang on this that I put all my Cricut mats on and silhouette mats. And they're hanging on an S-hook. And on this side is my big um, chipboard cutter that I have. I love that. 
I don't know if you can see it, and some transfer tape. Here is the big um, cabinet. This just holds a whole bunch of stuff. The good news is it goes to 24, so it's nice and deep, and it holds a lot of stuff, which I love. So that's just things that I want to get done. Some projects over in there, and some crab text. There's some wood projects in there as well. Let's see. I'll take you through my cabinets. There's tutorials over there. Some t-shirts for my HTV future projects. Um, it should be over there, but I don't know why it's not. 24 inch paper. Let's see. And that's HTV, which is to cut out, put on t-shirts. That's more HTV there. Score tape, uh, spray adhesive, Copics, some machines down there. The Grand Caliber, Tim Holtz's machine, the Vagabond, the Cinch. Uh, I forgot what that, bind it all. And some, what's, this is clear acrylic to put on um, cups or anything else to seal if you put vinyl on. And there's some more bins there with beads and all the other stuff that I have. Okay, I'll take you to my desk. This is my desk. The good thing about the desk is that I was able to get a bigger board. So I have a lot more space. And I could push stuff back if I'm making a bigger project. And it gives me a lot of space to work with, which is good. Or even if the kids come in here and just sit down and hang out, there's a lot of overhang and they could hang out in here, which I love. Anyway, desk. Let's see, there's a self-healing mat. Um, making memories. Carousel has all my markers and pens and other stuff that I use. I forgot where I got this. I don't remember where. I know I got it a long time ago when my scrap room was downstairs and I just love this thing because it holds so much and everything's there ready to reach my art light obviously this just holds future projects 12 we have 12 layouts that I want to get done so they're already there and labeled I just need to get them on paper and get them done and these are just some templates of some projects that I have started oh, there's me and my hubby some projects that I've started and that I liked and I kept because I wanted to remake them again. This thing's awesome, really comes in handy. Um, just holds pencils and scissors, my rulers. There's my puppy. Um, glue and Tim Holtz and all that good stuff there. Let's see, what else? Oh, my drawers, I'll take you in my drawers. These are the things I use most, my cutting. A trimmer, scoreboard, some corner punches. Let's see what else. This I just take, I just put this in here for now, but I take it out and keep it to the right so my score tape's always by me. And all the essentials that I need. The bottom one holds all my stamps. Whatever's left of my stamps. I definitely purged a lot of stamps. So there's some that it holds. Let's see this one. This is all glues. Um, my big bite. A big stapler, some foam tape, and this old dictionary that I love making paper flowers out of. I love that. Let's see. Hold on, let me take it to the top. And this is the top. All my score tape and ATG tape. This is just the top shelf to hold all my other things that you just need and have. I have. And that's it. Some other good doodads there and stuff. I'll take you to those cabinets. Those are the other three cabinets that I got. There's some projects up top. It's nice that I have the shelving to put my stuff on to display my works of art. So I'll take you to these. Okay, people, don't be alarmed. I have a lot of kits. They're in this bottom cabinet. There you go. Yes, those are all the kits I need to get done and I need to work on. I need to finish. Don't judge me. These are just um, cups that I use to put vinyl on. Other cups. There's a straw holder that I want to make. Glass block. That's one. There's a top to this. I'm short, so don't mind me. Some future projects that I just want to get done. Always. You know, it's just you're never really done. This is another cabinet. There's, this whole cabinet is paper. So there's some paper there paper here, my paintbrushes, more paper, this is my smash book, more paper, more paper, my command um, 
hooks and stuff. There's more paper there and more paper there. Okay, I love paper. Mind you, there's two more pads on my desk that I'll show you in a second. Okay, there's more paper back there. This box is just full of all the stuff from all the parks, theme parks. There's just so much stuff in there, I can't even begin to tell you. Chipboard, very thin chipboard, paper for my printer, and those two I want to make. I love those little cases. I want to make mini albums and put them in there for Julia, my daughter. Okay, this cabinet is mostly full with bins. These bins are great. They really are, and they really hold a lot of stuff. My paints, my uh, metal resins, there's that. Here's some cutters and some plates for some cutters I have. And there's another bin there. They're really roomy. There's four of these big bins, and this whole row has smaller bins. There's some embellishments. What This is, I love, this really came in handy. I got these envelopes. I think I got them on Amazon. I could look it up if you're really interested. And it, they hold all my little thin dies. So this whole thing is full. I got some extras just in case I get some dies in the future. There's some empty ones there. But that really helps because they all fit in there. I think they might have been five by seven. And they all fit in there nicely, nice and neat, and I can find more embellishments. Those are the smaller ones. There's two more big bins here. This is vinyl um, that I use on my on the cups, on Christmas pro Christmas presents and all sorts of presents, really. That I also got at Ikea. I love Ikea. They have so much stuff. And let's see. There's some big dies there. Some AccuCut dies, smaller dies, buttons, my bow maker, and that's about everything. I think I took you through the whole room. One more shelf right above there that has more memorabilia that I love. I'm a big kid. I love Disney and all that good stuff. So that's it. There's my room. Oh, and here's a huge bay window. I love it because I love the natural light and it motivates me. And I wish it would motivate me just a little bit more to get more projects done. Oh, let me take you through this really quick. I just got this today. It's the Prima Special Delivery Kit. I think this is April. Pretty sure. The goodies in here, my eyes. Oh, oh, they like my eyes are like big hearts. They're so cute. Anyway, this is the Prima kit. Look how cute these are. Arrows. These are my all-time favorite. They're so pretty. They lace flowers with pearl in the middle. I love them. There's some paper in here. Look at these tiny little two by two. ATC. These are perfect for little layouts. Just put them in the corners. Then there's a 3x4. Too cute. There's a stamp pad. There's a book, which I think is cute. I can't wait to dig into that. There's some 12x12 12 12 paper. And there's also a 6x6 six six pad. Which is adorable. I love it. I'm going to go on a grand way to make something. I'm thinking Kathy's photo folios. Kathy orders photo folios. I definitely need to get my hands and make some of those. And here's some other paper that I found at Michael's that I fell in love with and I had to have. This is the Mambi. Mambi? Yeah, Mambi. Me and my big ideas. What's this one called? I don't know. I don't see it. It doesn't say. But it's adorable. Oh, it says, oh no, that can't be it. Anyway, this is adorable. It's so pretty. I love it. I had to have it. And this is another one. Also me and my big ideas. So pretty. I definitely want to make some photo folios out of these. I love, 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 love them. Anyway, thanks for taking a tour of my new room. I appreciate you guys following me. And thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.